Could we, are there places that we can go? We just told you, buddy. Look up First Amendment auditing. To see you or other people. Do you have like a schedule where we can see you again to, you know, to get engaged more like So we don't have a schedule. Um, so we do this all over the country. Um, but go on YouTube and search up uh, First Amendment auditing, for example. And, okay. tons of it. and you're going to see auditors that are... What's it called? First Amendment, First Amendment auditing. What? And you're going to see some First Amendment auditors that completely pervert what we are doing, where you'll be standing right here and they're going to be like, hey, look what we can do, look what we can do, look what we can do. We don't do that at all. I stand back in the corner, I mind my own business, I pan my camera, right? that's it. That's all you'll ever get from me. And so you engage me, and most people do so in a very respectful way. Most people, you know, we've had people just bring us water and things like that. And snack. I mean, we got a cookie yesterday, somebody brought to us. Random stuff. So not everybody is fearful of this. You know what I mean? We had an elderly lady walked in five minutes ago. Karen was following her, and even she told the Karen, just let them be. Like, how are they bothering you? You know, it, it's perception. Most people would be, exactly. Most people, I think if you took a poll, would be suspicious or mysterious. And that's the world that we've been we're yeah. raised in obviously is a very fearful one but there's still a generation of us you know and i, I know that it's becoming smaller and smaller that weren't raised in fear right. and weren't weren't surrounded with suspecting everybody because they're acting or behaving differently um the you know see something say something movement has really created an entire class of over surveillance um so we've traded our comforty or we've traded our comfort for the liberties that people have died and fought for generations lost their lives because they were protecting our liberties. Thank you to everyone who fought for our rights and all those who still do. We appreciate you. That we are now trading away for comfort. And it, and it sucks. And it, it, the reality of that. comfortable when they have the information. So when you explain. No, no, that's fine. But we're here to challenge that though. So I, if I'm going to challenge people's level, level of comfort, okay? And like you guys might have been uncomfortable or suspicious of us, but we can have these conversations. You don't have to just suspect and then run home and tell everybody. Yeah. Uh, I gotta go find something to eat. I'm getting hungry. Sorry, had to give me some pineapples. Are you getting doom? How's it going, Art? I had to get some pineapples. I was getting hungry. I was like, I'm going to give me some, some pineapples or some kind of fruit to eat. Mmm. Love pineapples. They're so good. I'm listing some cards for sale. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> 